Hi guys, it's Katie from Team Lucky Little Learners here with some more teaching tips. This time we're going to talk about how to bring engaging science experiments into your classroom that are free or no cost, easy to plan, and something students will remember. We're going to walk through three quick and easy experiments in this video. You might have the materials you need for these experiments collecting dust right in your classroom cupboards or at home. So let's take a peek at these three experiments. Experiment number one, water cycle in a bag. Before you start experiment number one, you are going to intrigue students by telling them, I can make it rain inside this bag. Hold up the bag, your students will go, absolutely, no you cannot. Here's how you're gonna do it. All that's needed for this experiment are Ziploc bags, water, food coloring, packing tape, and Sharpies if you want the kids to decorate your bag. We drew some clouds, water, and a couple little raindrops. Just fill the bag about a quarter full with water, put some food coloring in, and as you tape the bags up into a sunny window, they are going to get to witness the water cycle happening right in front of them. As the water evaporates with the sunlight, there will be little rain drips going down the side of the bag. This is a fun experiment that students can then take home with them and continue. Experiment number two, the seashell experiment. Now, if you live in an area where seashells are not easily found, like I do, you can find them at most dollar stores or craft stores. I got mine at the local dollar store. You're going to put some seashells into a jar and you're probably gonna wanna help students with this, but you're going to fill the jar pretty full with white vinegar. Right when you pour it in, the students are gonna notice bubbles happening immediately. Leave it for a couple days, and I'm not going to give this one away for you, but I will say after a couple days, change out the vinegar and watch the process continue. Real quick before I go on, I wanna share with you a VIP link opportunity to try our All Access Teacher Membership site, which has over 20,000 resources. All you have to do is click, print, and teach. All of the science experiment sheets you're seeing in this video are included, plus thousands of other resources. Find that link below. Our third and final experiment is super easy as well, ice melting. And you're going to say to students, how do you think ice melts the fastest? Like what material could you put in a bowl to make an ice cube melt faster? So you're going to get four bowls. Now, if you're doing this with groups, you could use plastic cups and each group will have four of those. So you need four ice cubes per station. They're going to put an ice cube in each cup now, one of the cups you're gonna leave just an ice cube, but the other three let students pick materials they wanna put in with the ice cube, and we're gonna see which material helps it melt the fastest. For this example, we used cold water, flour, and sugar. I let my kids pick what they wanted to use, and that was their choice. We observed every five to 10 minutes, noticing the ice cube in the cold water was almost gone, while the other ice cubes were there for quite a while longer. I hope these experiments spark some joy in your classroom and in your wallet because you probably have everything you need tucked away in your cupboards. Have a great week teaching friends and we'll see you next time.